you spend 234 million pounds to win four trophies in the past 30 years. That's a waste. That's a waste. Thank yeah, you so much. Chelsea spent 582 to win 14 trophies. Uh, no, Liverpool. Uh, uh, Please. And you signed 18 players to win four trophies. And you're telling me you're a big club? Shops you might have your history. Shops Back in. then, when they are where we play pints. Ah. Yes. What is up, beautiful people? I have a guest with me today. Shops is not around. My man is out in Dubai, chilling, <laughs> bowling, and flexing. But I have with me Dio, a passionate Chelsea fan. He, yeah. Him and I get into it a lot. Yeah. Of, you know, behind the camera, and, and it's very, very good to have you. you. Know, thank you so much. You know, I, you want to accept, actually. Tell us as an ardent man, you fan. You know, you know me, I, concur, I'm bro. very objective. We are the champions you know, of the world, for crying objective. out loud. <laughs> uh, no, we'll, we'll get to that. But before that, I have one question to ask you. Okay. The EPL saw crazy games over the weekend. Yeah. Do you think yeah. the EPL title race is over, in your oh, opinion? No. Right now, it's wide open. I mm. think the title race right now is so open. Mm. Thank God, Tottenham came through. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea fans, that's the way they behave. When somebody's on should spoil, that's when they're happy. Meanwhile, Seriously. they are still far from it. I don't think Chelsea is in the title race. Mm. I think it is between Man City and Liverpool now. El City played against Tottenham, very interesting game. Yes. And then uh, three goals three to two. Goes to two. Three goals to two. And then Liverpool did not, they didn't, you know, they didn't, they didn't jab off. They did, they did basically. Actually, actually, actually. They did well winning their game. I think the match was so tricky for Liverpool. It mm. was tricky. Mm. When they were, they went one one year down and everybody was just like, but I just love their, their, their fighting spirits and mm. they came through actually. When you have the likes of Salah, when you have the likes of Mane, uh, and then <laughs> Ruben Diaz, who had of a course, very, of very, course. very, very, very good game. Scored his first goal for Liverpool very in the Premier game. League. Very good game. Very Sabi good Boy. Game. It's a good game. Let's wait and see how it blends in. Like Jota. He, he looked... <laughs> <laughs> that, that's wicked. But, but really, think about it. Jota has played really well. Yes. Jota has played well, you know. Actually, Taking actually. the chances that he has been given. Yeah, yeah. Ruben Diaz also seems to be taking the chance that he has yes, been given. Yes, of course, and of course. It, it was interesting to see the fact that he came into the team and he entered straight up. Like, yeah, they yeah. brought him in for a reason and yeah. he has entered straight yeah. up. Yeah, that's one thing I love about Klopp. It, mm. it goes for whoever it thinks we fit into the sport, we fit into the style of football he's trying, trying to play mm. and everything and it's working well for them right now. But um, as for Liverpool now, they do have to play Man City next two weeks. Yes. That, <laughs> that, that puts a different spin to it. Now imagine this, I didn't Liverpool lost that their game. Yeah. And then Man City won their game. That oh, would have been 12 that's points. Of, that's the end of it. It would have been a 12 point gap. But right now we have just six points. Yeah. Liverpool play Man City. <laughs> Man City should just go and do they can lose. <laughs> <laughs> it's just music and lose. <laughs> then it's all it's all for it's the off, taking. It's off actually. It's off so for, the for it right now, it, why I said the title race is wide open is mm. because Liverpool is going to be a tug of war. It's mm. going to be a tug of war between Liverpool and Man City. And Man City it will be a do or die affair. <laughs> Ma, Liv all gone See, places. Those are the kinds of games that club. <laughs> yes. Mm. It's all, it's all it's muscle. And you know the funniest part is that Guardiola will overthink. That's, That's when we have no Rodri, we will have no Gundogan, we will just have <laughs> six or he eight did it in the Champions League finals. finals. And look he at it. it. Champions of Europe and Champions of the World. <laughs> Sorry, no, 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 please. Let's who, are we, who are we talking about now? We're talking about Man City. We are talking about Guardiola's mistake, but uh, no, 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 yeah. always about things. Uh, yeah. so, and at the end of the day, <laughs> who, who is now Champions of Europe and Champions of the World? Chelsea. Please, my club. producers, where did you find? <laughs> Why did you decide to bring this person here? Oh, have you forgotten I'm, I'm just a dire Chelsea fan here? At the end of the day, uh, you, you're supposed to bring... We're talking about City and Liverpool here. Yeah. Yes. They are bringing Chelsea into the agenda. Come on, we, already, we are still in the agenda. Talking about the title race, though we are still lacking behind. But anything can still happen, no, brother. I, no, I the race is finally open. Let's... Okay, okay. Since, it seems you just want to talk about Chelsea, Sharp. <laughs> Now let's talk about this Chelsea. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Chelsea won the Club World Cup uh, mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago uh -huh. against a Palmeiras side. Was it was it Palmeiras? You guys. Palmeiras. Yes. Palmeiras. One of the Brazilian. Big, biggest club in Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> now they are the biggest club in Brazil. One you say, off. Say you can I see Chelsea said, fans. Don't misquote. Tell okay. her I said one of the biggest club in Brazil football. Uh, yeah, no football Allah. league. No Allah. Now, so, now accept. quote me. Yeah. Quote me. Yeah. No, sorry, quote Shopsy, because it was Shopsy that said it and started this Walla. Okay. Chelsea won the Champions League, won the Club World Cup. Yes. But still, they have no history. 
Jesus Christ, my Lord. One Chelsea, of, one of the problem I'm having with rivals of Chelsea Football Club is that they said we have no history. Mm -hmm. Mind you, Chelsea has been one of the top football club in England, even before the Abramovic era. The stats Ow. is all known. Ow. Chelsea won the Super Cup, beat Real Madrid in Super Cup final. When? It, it was in 1992 or something. They beat, they won the Super Cup before Abramovic. We mm -hmm. won the FA Cup more than one time before Abramovic. Mm -hmm. We won the Carling Cup more than twice mm -hmm. before Abramovic. Mm -hmm. So you know, can now tell him Chelsea has no history. I won't take that from you. Shopsy, mind you, Liverpool for the past 30 Shopsy, years. Talk won, to Shopsy. Shopsy, if you are, if you can see this video, mind you, Liverpool won just four trophies for the past 30 years. Since Abramovic era in 2003, you won just four trophies. Your three trophies came 2019 to 2020 season when you won the, the Premier League, the Champions League, and the Club World Cup. The last trophy you won was in 2005, Champions League final. Damn. And you guys spent over 280 something million. Even Manchester United fans. Hey, they, no, no, they, they, they won more trophies. No, bring my unit. They won more trophies. Hey, okay, before, okay. before, before, more trophies. Before, 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 before Abramovic era. And he's now, he's now telling me we have no heritage. And, and I'm so disappointed that you tell it because you are trying to, you are trying to back this up. Just give it to us. We own it. Right now, we are the champions of the world. Okay. No cap, man. Okay. No cap. Okay. Thank you so much. Not a problem. Uh -huh. Not a problem. Accepted. But if we're talking Do about... Do you accept? Team, yes or no? Dio. Accept. Dio, hold. Okay. Chill. All right. If we're talking about history, okay. we're talking about things like... Now, look at Manchester United, for instance. Okay. Now, this is the thing. Chelsea won the Champions League, won the Club World Cup. Yes. No, no problem. You've okay. done well the, over the past... Decade or two. Oh, thank no you. No problem, right? Mm -hmm. But we're talking about history here yeah, and heritage, right? Okay. Now look at Manchester United, for instance. Okay. Um, about two games ago or thereabouts. Okay. Man, you played their one. It was 112 years. Okay. Of playing in Old Trafford in the Theatre of Dreams. Okay. That is history. That is history. Liverpool as a team. Okay. Have a history of success oh. of over 50. 100 years. 100 years. Manchester City can't say that. 50, 100 years. Chelsea cannot say that. How? That is You're what I think Shopsy means when he says history. 112 years. 112 years. You guys have been playing at Old Trafford. Mm -hmm. Yeah? That's history. For over 100 years. Chelsea has also been playing at Stamford Bridge. What are you telling me? That yeah, is also history. What's the nickname we of won... Stamford Bridge? Bro, Manchester bro. United, the theatre of dreams. Old Trafford is the theatre of dreams. That is something that is deeply historical. That is something that has seen so many, so many uh, pivotal, iconic moments. Okay. But for Chelsea, what do you have? Just one, one rich Russian oligarch just came into the Don't, club. Don't. Is it because over. now you're trying to say something else? Because yeah. I, I, I will quote you for what you just make mention of. Okay. Rich Russian. Is it because he's a Russian? Ah, Why are you not I'm talking not about the risk. Newcastle consortium that just bought Newcastle, the richest in the world? You are not talking about the Arabians. Why is it almost? No, don't just let hey, them. But Newcastle have not done you anything. You know, right from time. I'm trying to quote what you're trying to say right now. That it, it's because it's Russian. Is that is the reason why? That's not the reason. Is it because the, the reason, the or reason, Old or Manchester United is owned by the Queen guy, of England? The reason is Please, issues like this. Don't be biased. With Chelsea fans. So and they are overly zealous support of their club. Thank like you. say the truth it's about what club. your club is. Do you understand me? Okay. Now, your club has no history. Oh. I, I will not, I will not, I will not um, argue with somebody like Shopsy when he says something like that. You're a good club, oh. you're a good team, okay. pretty well run, to be very honest with you, oh, in my opinion. Thank you. But when we're talking about history, when we're talking, where was Chelsea when the likes of Bayern Munich, where was Chelsea when the likes of AC Milan okay. and Liverpool were playing Champions League finals? Okay. Where was Chelsea during all this period? All right, thank you so much for the evolved of football. Football has evolved. Mm. Do you remember, talking about history, can you compare your own history with the likes of Real Madrid? You have no history beside Real Madrid. Hey, no, when no, you're no, talking no, no. about history, no, no, no. Hey, when hey, you're hey, talking hey. about heritage, Man, you and Real yours? Madrid both have history. Oh, It's Chelsea that does not have history. Don't tell me Chelsea has no history. Let me tell you one thing is that everybody has their own better moment and the best moment of their, of their life. Mm. Every, every football club has their own moment. Do you understand? Chelsea has trying, is trying to rewrite history. In the world of football, in in, in the world of football, so trying to in, in, in English other football, people's history. in English football, right now, Chelsea is trying to write the history, to rewrite the history 
written by Manchester United, hey, hey, written by now Liverpool. So they say, mm. so they say, because right now I'm not going to, I'm not going to be biased. Mm. I'm saying this because I'm a football lover. Right now, no cap, Manchester United Football Club is a big club in England. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Manchester yes. United Club is a big club in England. Now I will show you people, I will tell you some reasons for you to understand what I'm trying to say. That Chelsea Football Club writes history. Chelsea Football Club has history. Please, can I have a phone, please? Thank you so much. Chelsea Football Club is not just a club beside the road that you, take, you can just talk about. Chelsea is not Man City for crying out loud. Man City has no history. Why is Man City you're looking at a football club that has no history. Manchester City has no history. Those are the clubs okay, you should be talking let's, about, let's, not let's the likes of away, Chelsea. Thank you so much. Claudio Ranieri was the last Chelsea coach before the takeover of Abramovich. Take it or leave it. Yes. No, that one is facts now. That okay, facts. right, right. Before then, three seasons, that's year 2000. In year 2000, Chelsea spent 12, 21 million pounds to buy, to sign six players. Then we signed Lampard. We signed Galas, we signed Pettis from Arsenal, we signed Uth and then then with G uh, Jadjoka. All these football clubs, all these football uh, legends, we signed them even before the era of Abramovic. Okay. That shows that Chelsea is not just a club, it's, it's, it's a huge club. Chelsea qualified for Champions League that season. Chelsea is already in round of 16 in Champions League that season before the takeover of Abramovich. Okay. You're telling me Chelsea Football Club has no history. Chelsea Football Club is nowhere to be found. It's, I won't take that lightly. Chelsea won the European Cup, now called Europa League, to face Real Madrid How many and win times? the Super Cup. How many times? Chelsea might not have the financial ability mm. to buy players mm. then. Mm. Chelsea might not have the ability to sign huge and big world-class footballers mm. then, but we can sign Abre players, which are zealous okay. and to be one of the best football players in the world of today. Talking about Lampard. Okay, not a, not a problem, not a problem. Before I think, we move on, please. No, 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 no. Let's the move last on. thing I have to Let's show you, on. the last thing I have to tell you is that Chelsea right now, under Abramovic for the past uh, how many years, since 2003, Chelsea won 14 trophies. Manchester United won 13. Ah. Liverpool hey. won just four. Shockwave, if they are looking Shopsy. at this, you won just four trophies and you spent you spent 234 million pounds to win four trophies in the past 30 years. That's a waste. That's a waste. Thank yeah, you so much. Waste. And Chelsea spent just 582, that's which means Chelsea spent 582 to win 14 trophies. Ah, uh, no, Liverpool. Uh, uh, Please, and you signed 18 players to win four trophies and you're telling me you're a big club? Shopsy. You might have your history Shopsy. back then when they are where we play pints. Yes, but when you're talking about the evolve of football, right now we are talking about the modern football. Give it to us. We own it. Huh. Champions of the world for crying out loud. Shamsi, to Thank be honest, you so much. this smoke is for you. Um, and, and, and all Liverpool fans out there, I think from Dio's standpoint, you, you actually need to watch what you say when, when you talk about your Please, career. watch what you say. Please, but, thank but you. But to just quickly wrap it up, something interesting happened over the past over the past week, right? Okay. The NFF, um, a group of, you know, NFF people, yeah. Amad Jupini, Eguavon, yeah. and uh, the Eguavon, the technical director, and the coach of yeah. Super Eagles, they went over to, uh, to, to England and they went to visit the Leicester City players and and the, and the Watford players. So yes. I feel like, in some way, <laughs> that, that visit is very, very... <laughs> they wanted, uh, they want Emmanuel Dennis to play for Nigeria. Of course. For some reason, the young man does not seem, doesn't mm. seem to want to do it. Of course. What, yeah. What's your, what's, what's your take on I that? I think to my, to my understanding, it felt, it felt, um, we, you know, it, ha it has been like that. Mm. Look at the likes of um, uh, Victor Moses. Mm. They are the kind of players that they feel like, okay, they maybe, maybe they had the opportunity, it's on a platter of gold mm -hmm. for me. Because if you strive and struggle to play, if Nigeria were to be like the, the likes of England mm -hmm. or Brazil, where there's no space, or you have to start lobbying and start looking for that lucky chance, I think they are taking it for granted. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You going to visit them, to me it shows that you are still trying to like lure or trying to lure beg the them to yes, do this. Yes, you don't yes. do that. To me, I believe we want Nigeria to have a standard football. We don't do that. We don't just start lobbying and start begging players. I, I, I can see the likes of um, the Leicester City visit, visitation, which is mm. the likes of Luke so Man, many Nigerian and, players, so many Luke Nigerian Man, players, and Didi, Yanacho, and, and, uh, and they've been they've been good. And of course, again, another Nigerian player in the Leicester City setup. Although on the female side, Ashley Plumtree, she played yes. her first ever match for Nigeria awesome. and, 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 she, and she stood out in Honestly speaking, watching that match against Cote d'Ivoire and I was just like, I, I, 
I, are you serious? Our mm -hmm. center back, yeah, a yeah, white yeah, woman yeah, with a long hair. Really serious. But, but she has a Nigerian heritage. <laughs> yes, from, uh, from her it's, it's, it's something of a joy inside. actually to yeah. see. And just to quickly wrap it up. Big, big, big shout out to Aubameyang. Yes. He is the fourth ever player mm -hmm. in the history of football to score in the top four leagues of, you know, in the top shout four out. leagues in Europe. Yes. Scored uh, for AC Milan yes. in Syria. Yes. Scored, yes. uh, scored for for Arsenal in the EPL. Scored for Barcelona. Barcelona. Uh, and, and the hat-trick. And also scored for Dortmund Honestly, uh, in, in, in Germany. That's a so, huge one so for Big ups, big ups, big ups. It was big a very, very interesting episode. Yes. Very interesting to have you. Thank you very much for coming. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming. It was Thank nice to have it. you. And I'm sure when Shopsy yeah. comes back, Definitely like to have you here again so you can fit <laughs> in one on one. I'm waiting for you, Shopsy. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, drop your comments in the comment section down below. Um, Champions League tomorrow, drop your predictions. We've always said it, there will be prizes to be won. If you're lucky to predict and predict correctly, we'll yeah. put out some prizes. Yeah. Thank you very much once again. Thank uh, you. My name is Tele. Bye for now.